Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to stop your ISP from spying on you. That's right, if you weren't aware, your ISP is definitely taking a look at what you're doing online and it's kind of a complicated process but it ultimately leads to one goal and we'll talk about that here in a second as I scratch my face. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is a problem with ISP spying on your surf surfing habits and you probably aren't aware but they have a way of skewing the internet because of what they are doing as far as spying. Now when it comes to spying most people think of uh, so social media platforms like Facebook and um, Instagram and other services that are actually spying on your surf surfing habits and that is true they definitely are checking up on where you're going online to direct advertising to you. Now the same thing is occurring with your ISP that your ISP and it doesn't matter who you use for an internet service provider they're definitely checking out and seeing what it is you're doing so if you see your list of ISPs here it's a good chance that these companies are definitely spying on your surfing habits and I moved the captioning bar so that you can get a good look at all of the ISPs or popular ones out there um, obviously this list has changed uh, it's got a list of older ISPs, but it doesn't matter. If you are using a search or internet service provider, they're looking and seeing what you're doing. And to make the list even worse, most internet service providers are owned by a parent company. As you can see from this list here, um, as you can see, Comcast owns... <laughs> And this list is a little old because it's quarter 2016. So uh, you can see all the companies your ISP owns. So there's Comcast, AT&T, and Verizon. And trust me, this list has grown since 2016 as far as the companies that have, the ISP companies that have taken over smaller companies. Now, if you notice from this list, a lot of these companies are either media related or somewhat news related in some of the content, but the whole goal is to get to you as a consumer, no matter where you are on the internet. That means if even if you're using Comcast, for example, and maybe you're not using Comcast content from like their website or Xfinity as it's also known, that they can definitely target you through the programming that you watch on television. And with the internet service providers, the more TV and media companies that they can purchase, it definitely means that they have a wider reach as far as finding out what things you're watching on TV and surfing for online in order to build a profile of you as far as where you're surfing on the internet, what stuff you're buying, what shows you're watching. That way they can definitely target directly to you as a consumer and this is kind of known as target marketing where they just select you out of the sea of people and know exactly what it is that you like and what things will help you make purchases for specific products now I will say that as far as the internet service provider companies are concerned this also goes to your cellular companies as well so as you can see from the list there, most of the companies listed in the sheet before definitely shows companies that are providers of internet service, but also providers of cell phone service. The big top dogs obviously would be Verizon and AT&T. So what does that mean for you as a consumer? Does that mean that you have to get off of the internet completely or get rid of your cell phone service to not be tracked doesn't necessarily mean that but there are things that you can do to make sure that your information and that your personal life stays private 
from the all-seeing eye of your internet provider. So one of the things that I will say that you can't do is to surf in incognito mode. Now this is a mode that most browsers have where you can surf privately and it even says on Google's in private incognito mode that you can use it to browse privately. Now we'll tell you that with incognito mode, basically what that does is it hides your cookies from web websites that you visit because it's known when you visit search engine sites like Google or Facebook or some of the other ones out there, they definitely check the cookies in your browser to see where you've been and they use that information to target ads towards you. So it's like the old saying that I was looking for a pair of shoes on the internet and then I got on Facebook and started seeing ads for those particular pairs of shoes. That's how it's done is by turning incognito or in private mode on your browser and all browsers including those for Macintosh computers have an in private or an incognito mode. Now that's not to say that you can't turn on incognito mode because it's definitely a good idea to turn it on to make sure that your, your um, browser isn't giving up secrets to the websites that you're visiting, but it's not going to keep you safe from your internet service provider because they're definitely looking at the ingoing and outgoing traffic that goes beyond your browser. So one of the first things that you can do is to get a VPN. Now, if you're not sure what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And what it essentially does is it creates a tunnel that allows your information to go back and forth from websites without your ISP seeing what is going on. Now, VPNs picked up as far as popularity in the private sector, especially when people were, or still are, pirating movies and didn't want to get caught by their internet service provider. Um, now, VPNs are used in the corporate world, and if you are a remote worker, to make sure that A, your ISP isn't seeing the transactions that are going on, and B, to make sure that if you're in a public or in your home, um, that a criminal can't see the information that is transpiring with your online web searches. So if you are looking to keep your information safe, get a VPN installed on your computer. Now there are several VPNs that you can go with. You can go with browser-based VPNs like the one built into the web browser Opera. And let me bring up Opera here so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But let's switch to the desktop. Now there's Opera. Now as you can see with Opera up in the upper left-hand corner, there definitely is a VPN button. So if you click on VPN, uh, it was connected or disconnected. If you click on connected, what it will do is if you're surfing within the Opera browser, it definitely will keep your information safe. And the good thing about Opera is that it is free. So keep that in mind. Now other VPNs out there are for your entire computer. So Opera would work good for if you were browsing with your browser only. I know that sounds stupid, but if you are using your applications like Word and other programs that you just want total support with your computer, you definitely want to get a computer-based uh, VPN and Nord VPN would probably be one of the best programs out there that you could download. So you can download Nord. Uh, actually, it tells me exactly here with Nord <laughs> that I'm there's my internet IP address at the top who my ISP currently is and my status is unprotected so it's kind of giving you the hint there that you need to make sure that you are protecting your information because it's definitely out there now, Nord VPN has different plans and this is not a ad but you can definitely Scroll the website at nordvpn.com to see the different options they have available. And there are some other VPNs that you can look at too for your option, even though it's on the Nord website. 
like ExpressVPN, PrivateVPN, ProtonVPN, and PureVPN. But one of my other favorites is a, a VPN called TunnelBear. Now, TunnelBear is a, and like it says, TunnelBear, it's a way that you can secure all your devices. And I will tell you, Nord will work on every device out there too. But TunnelBear is another great VPN that you can use uh, to make sure that your information is staying safe and secure from your ISP. And there's, as you can see, every device out there, Nord, v, or not Nord, geez, TunnelBear <laughs> will make sure that your information is safe and secure and will keep your information safe from your uh, ISP. Another uh, tip that you want to use is use a browser that is not associated with, um, with an ISP or with one of the companies that I mentioned before. Now, the challenging thing is with your browsers is that they are associated with those large tech or media companies that definitely are looking to grab your information. So if you're using Google, if you're using Microsoft Edge, even if you're using Safari or not Firefox, but hmm, not even, uh, <laughs> I was going to say Firefox, but that's not on the list. But mainly your big three browsers, which would be Chrome, Edge, and Safari, to a little extent are designed not only to help you surf the internet, but are looking for your personal information. So it's better if you use a browser like Tor browser, which is not designed to look at your surfing habits. And Tor is really used to surf the black web or the dark web. But Tor, as you can see, looks like any other browser. You can go to any other website you want to and like Yahoo, which is owned by Verizon now, but you can surf just like you would on any other browser with Tor. But the good thing about the Tor browser is that it's keeping your information safe and your browser is not collecting data from you. Another browser that you definitely might want to consider would be a new kid on the block, which is a browser called Brave. Now the Brave browser again looks just like any other browser out there. Um, it's even got news sites or you know other things, but you definitely can use the Brave browser, and you have your search bar at the top just like any other browser. So the good thing about Tor and the Brave browser is that it's really not a learning curve. But again, these two browsers are definitely not associated with the large media companies. So they are a safer alternative as far as making sure that your ISP is not collecting data on you. Now, something else that you can do is to install a browser extension that only works with Chrome and with Firefox, and that's called HTTPS Everywhere. It's a browser extension that installs in Firefox and in Chrome. And I know that's kind of an oxymoron because you could, you could uh, I'm telling you not to use Chrome, but then here's a browser extension that works with Chrome. You could use Firefox in its stead, but basically HTTPS makes sure that every website that you visit is encrypted to keep your data a little bit more safer from your ISP spying on it. And then finally, um, opt to go with a web browser that isn't, or not a web browser, but a search engine that isn't associated with your large media ISP or large company. And probably one of the best out there is DuckDuckGo. Now, DuckDuckGo is a search engine that you can use anywhere. So if you wanted to open up, let's go back to Opera and let's go back to the desktop. So if you wanted to search for something, certain browsers like Tor have DuckDuckGo built into it. So if we go to Tor and go back to our homepage, as you can see, you can do a search with DuckDuckGo, or you could go to DuckDuckGo, like you would say, go to google.com, and it'll take you to DuckDuckGo as your browser, or as your search engine, sorry, and then you can search for stuff without being tracked, like it says. Now, a little bonus one that I wanna throw out there is one called Kittle. 
Now, Kittle may look like it's associated with Google, but it is not. Kittle is, ah, I went to the website. But anyway, let's do a search for Kittle so that we can go to the right website. But Kittle allows you to surf the web for kids for free. So there it is. And I typed in the browser or the I, URL wrong. But if we go to Kittle.co, as you can see, it takes you to a safe visual search engine for kids because if you didn't know, your ISP is targeting your kids too. So if you're looking for a good alternative to surf for your kids, go to Kittle, not associated with Google at all. It uses Google technology, but the company is not owned by Google and they're not looking for your information. So keep that in mind. So with that said, if you have um, comments or questions about how ISPs check your information, Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out what stuff we could talk about as far as helping you keep safe from your ISP. One other thing that I was going to note too, as far as your ISP is now able to browse your information, that all rose when the net neutrality ended back a few years ago. It gave ISPs full reign as far as what they can do as far as your browsing and surfing internet. So if we want to bring back net neutrality, definitely now is the time. So also make sure if you liked this video to share it with your friends and be sure to follow myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert or my company Integral as far as keeping up with the latest tips and tricks on with everything tech and then be sure to follow us on all the social media platforms out there because trust me, we're everywhere. So with that said, I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.